if you get people educated you can actually control them easily you have to be real also that you find uh, a lot of black people in china they complain and they have problems what i'm about to say is might be controversial but compared to any other religion muslims are actually the freest in, in china <laughs> Okay, so my name is uh, Sharif. I'm from Nigeria and uh, I've been studying in Behang University for more than five years now. Okay, I think this is the fifth year, yeah. In my bachelor years, that was the first four years I was uh, doing information and communication engineering. But now in my master's, I've, uh, I'm doing uh, something related to deep learning and uh, data science, something AI, this kind of thing right now. Education in China or in a particular school. The first part, uh, education in China generally compared to Africa is better. Of course, it's better because you have more access to facilities and uh, if you're ready to do the work, especially if you're coming from Africa, you know Africa is very rigorous. And, but if you take that mindset and you come here, I think you can succeed because it will be much more easier because you have that hunger to like uh, strive for knowledge, which you get from like Africa. But education here, you have the tools. It's just for you to use it. That's what I would say, China generally. Now, in my own universities, to be specific, it's also the same thing. And uh, in my bachelor years, even though it was quite difficult, but it was okay because we had the tools. All you have to do is just put in the work. Even though like a lot of foreigners, they complain and everything, maybe my own philosophy, I have a different philosophy. Okay, so I don't like to be a victim of... Uh, anything whatsoever i like to feel like people are just random people like the same way you'll find discrimination anywhere around the world it depends on who you meet okay it depends on who you meet so the people that i've met so far the people that we, the chinese people have met have been good people okay good chinese people they don't care about all these bias and stuff like that good people maybe when i'm playing football my team they've never shown me any uh discrimination but you have to be real also that you find uh, a lot of black people in china they complain and they have problems so this is true but me i have no experiences so i don't i'm not gonna put down myself okay so i think the expectation from people most of the time causes a lot of trouble what do i mean by that when you are uh, you expect people to not see you as a foreigner so some people complain about people looking at them of course people are going to look at you if a white person goes to africa and is walking i know they will look at them like who is that right so me, many people they don't need to exaggerate too much even though you find some bigots out there but not everybody's like that someone looking at you is not necessarily uh, a racist something okay so you just have to some of those things don't don't pay attention to that okay find good people uh, in your circles and just like every human being in the world you find some people that are good and you find some people that are bad so i think generally the chinese people are good generally okay so but it doesn't mean there's no exception okay so my own experience that's all i can tell you about so far so good it has been good and i don't pay attention to the negative part uh if you ask me how many chinese friends do you have i might say i maybe i don't have a lot but it's not because it's difficult to have chinese friends but it's because maybe because i cannot speak chinese if i cannot speak chinese the friendship it will not last because how do you communicate do you understand so of course it's difficult really for, for you to make friends but the guys that i've seen that can speak chinese they have more friends than i do so you can see clearly that it's kind of empirical if you learn how to speak the language and you understand the people of course you find friends so if you cannot speak chinese and you're complaining <laughs> so i think it is easy if you can speak chinese it's easier to make friends with chinese people it depends actually it depends on your experience so my own experience so far i'm going to be speaking from that perspective so the language okay is a barrier it would have been much better if it was english of course because <laughs> i speak english but it's not a disadvantage on that is maybe it's on my part I couldn't learn the language quicker okay right now i'm at like intermediate level so there's there will be problem with communication maybe with your teachers maybe with other people uh the chinese people that might actually help you you will not be able to communicate quickly with them so you that's at the advantage for most people and uh the second one all just follows from that the relation with the people around you it will not be like when you're back home so you most of the time you might find yourself alone unless you have like for, a foreign student around you i'm saying like with the chinese students that might be in your class or people like this they might not want to talk to you be like do they, don't they like me but most of the time it's because the conversation will not move anywhere so that way you will not feel you might feel alone you might feel like you miss africa you might feel like you want to go back home so that's another thing and then the last disadvantage would be food you might not like see you might not like the food you have to like adapt to eating those kind of foods and eventually if you want to spend if you want to buy like 
foreign foods from maybe Africa is going to be very expensive. So the food is definitely one of the disadvantage also. You're not going to find like food that you see. Like if you go to India, you might actually like the food. But as an African, if you come here, you're going to see food like, what is this? Okay, so that, those are the three disadvantages. The first one that I will say is that it is safe. I think if you understand what that means, it is safe to be here. You're not going to see someone that got shot, okay? Nobody's getting shot. Most people don't have accidents. It's generally safer than anywhere you will be. I'm telling you, not even Europe is safer. Maybe because of the government, the way they control people and everything. Nobody's carrying a gun, shooting people, okay? That one you are sure. You, you are safe. And you will feel it i'm actually in a safe place what does it that do to you and this should be transferred to africa by the way since i like here that wish were in my country safety compared to nigeria see let me not even compare them <laughs> so safety is one is safe uh the second uh, good thing is that of course the resources you have wi-fi you have access to resources libraries if you want to do the job internet you have access to internet and the uh, tools that you have here many other facilities the roads is much more easier maybe because we are actually living in beijing i don't know about us but i'm sure they also have these uh Thing about them is is uh you have access to modern top top notch facilities okay so that does that is the second one so far my own experience here has been good my own experience generally maybe because of the kind of person i am but my experience generally because maybe i don't care about other people so i will not have problem with people not talking to me or something like that i'm fine <laughs> with just uh like that so i think me generally it has been good uh and uh let me just say something about maybe the government okay and the the work ethic of the people the work ethics of the Chinese people, top notch, is good. Okay, so that's another thing that I would say that uh, I wish we had in our own countries. It's not like the people don't work hard, but the government with the people, the way they connect together by providing facilities for the people to work, making it safe for the people, giving them access to facilities, all those things come together, okay, to be a very big advantage. And that's why people, common people, they succeed. And uh, I wish that was in Africa also. So our government, they should learn from this and uh, make a conducive environment for students to, to learn. So we need safety in our countries. We need access to resources. And both of them come together to give us better advantage to compete with the rest of the world. The Nigerian education system or Africa generally, okay, or in even most develop, uh, underdeveloped countries. So we usually have the same problem. I think we need to have a strong philosophy behind our education it's not just learning a b c d learning how to read and these things all that would prepare people is people that are just looking for a job okay so they are most people now they are not there to learn they are just looking for a job they are looking for money what we need is a, a good philosophy that will teach children that education is actually something that actually matters uh so what i would say to the african uh, education system is that we are just copying people we are copying the west copying oh, this is what they're doing let us copy it too and it doesn't work it doesn't work all we learn is how to read and uh looking for a job but if we have a strong philosophy we might actually in the future have inventors too we have more inventors we have more people and you see how good our people do when they go outside the country they do well because the philosophy over there is different they give people room to think they give people room to explore their their ideas but in africa they are going to crush it most african countries because they don't they are just copying so i would say we need to stop copying develop even our own education system now the next role is for the government to create a much more better environment for the people to learn a better environment for young talent inventors to develop whatever ideas that they have in their head don't just crush it by beating them so that's the way provide facilities put more money into education put more money into the education like other countries see the emphasis they are putting on education a society that is educated a lot of things will come for them crime will reduce developments will happen to be much more easier actually i'm giving you advice if you're if you're in the government african uh, politicians if you get people educated you can actually control them easily i'm serious <laughs> you can control them easily if you're educated because it will make sense once they pass through the school system you can actually reduce crime rate call it whatever you like manipulation but but school system actually makes people want to do the right thing because they think they are educated but if you have people bunch of people that are uneducated that's why you have crime rate increasing and you will not be able to control them easily okay so i, I think with these two methods by having a strong reason why we are even doing all of this that's our philosophy and then secondly by the government providing the tools for the uh, young students and uh, to learn and develop themselves this is the only way we can compete with the other people in the world that's because that's exactly what they are doing It depends on your options and whatever you want to study you need to do the research if whatever you are uh, you want to study if there's a better place for it of course go there 
don't just go to a place so this is the rule the rule will be like this don't just go to a place because you want to uh because of the culture or because of uh i want to play if you really want to study and the best place to study is in japan go over there and do it that's where you learn the, sk uh, the skills better and faster so in china a lot of people might struggle because they cannot speak the language and they might have a lot of challenges that it might end up they are ability to learn quickly or even learn anything at all so i would say if you are that type of person you can go to other countries where they can actually speak english or they can speak. so you don't need to spend a lot of time trying to learn the language okay but if you are someone that is open to learn and you don't care really about uh discrimination or something like this then you can come here because it's much more better than your probably your your country that you're coming from it's much more better any <laughs> any uh increment in goodness is good okay so if you are coming from a place where there are no tools you go to a place where there are tools and it's much a better environment where you can develop yourself there are a lot of good and there's some bad if you are able to handle the disadvantages then i think you should come here if you have the opportunity okay but if you see like other places also it's also fine it depends on you you are going to be the one to judge so do your research check different places if you feel like this place is the place to get what you des uh, what you want then you come to it every person that is coming here you have to recognize the first thing is that you have to learn from the best okay so this is exactly if you study like chinese history this is what they did just some years ago they were just like you guys they were as poor as african countries i'm not joking they were that bad the economy was that bad okay so what did they do they decided that they're going to learn from who from the best so they went to Euro european countries till today you find chinese all over the place in the academic world in most of all these countries chinese people are there all over the place go and look at the papers they are there all over publishing papers so what did they do they said you know what let's open to the world let's go into the world let's stop closing ourselves in we go and we learn from the best so if there's any african planning to come here this is my advice for you you come here and you try to learn as much as possible and with the intention that you will take it back okay you will take whatever you've learned out, no matter how little it is look at them look at how they structure their society look at their work ethics take that and take it back to your community you might think like it's small but it's actually a lot i understand why someone would think like that okay so you have to understand some people their background might be really really bad and they are coming from families that are actually suffering and this is their only chance to uh make the life of their people better so i don't know the circumstances of those people but one thing i would say is this no matter where you come from no matter the background that you're coming from no matter which country you're coming from when you come here you have a task to accomplish your task is to what skill acquisition don't think about money that will come when you have the skills think about skills acqu acquisition so i will not say once you're here after two years you didn't acquire any skill and you want to run back home not necessarily it's, it's not gonna work like that stay as long as you can when you have attained then enough skills to be able to be confident to go anywhere in the world then you take that back to your country because no matter where you are you will never feel at home you will never feel like that's your home okay or on the issue because i'm muslim okay i'm muslim okay so now the funny thing is that see i'm just telling you guys my own opinion on this issue compared to any other religion what i'm about to say is might be controversial but compared to any other religion muslims are actually the freest in, in china compared to any other religion so predominantly most of them are non-muslim they are atheists okay however there's a muslim uh the muslims have a long history compared to any other religion in china that's why you have muslim mosques and then you even have uh ethnic people that are muslims in china not even like the people in xinjiang in china you'll find people that are muslims you have halal meat uh, a whole institution around halal meat where you can actually see the tags and there, there's some uh, government uh, people around those things to validate if it's actually true and you have a halal restaurant and you have mosques so i think as a muslim it's not going to be like you are back home but it's you will still find something that you might not even find in the west okay you will still find some kind of freedom in the sense that you can go to the mosque you can buy halal meat and eat you can go to halal restaurants and eat halal meat sometimes even if you are alone you can actually pray and most people don't actually care after my bachelor i was planning to go back and maybe see if i can work with my bachelor's but that was because i was in bachelor if you are if you are also someone doing bachelor you probably get tired at some point and be like you know what when i'm done with this i just want to go work i don't want to good study anymore right but after uh when we during the last part of the uh, bachelors the fourth year 
I changed my mind and I'm like, you know what? Why don't I just continue and do my masters and see what comes out of it? So right now I'm trying to finish my masters. When I finish this, I'll try to find work, of course, find job here. Or even if I go back home or anywhere in the world, I can use the skills I've acquired and try to also uh, use it around the world. So that's my plan. To end the video, I'll say I've enjoyed the interview so far and uh, some of those things I'm just straining it right from my from my head so it might not be perfect but I think you'll uh, feel connected to this kind of normal talk. I'm not making it up, I'm not writing it down somewhere, I'm just telling you right from my mind. So some of those things might be idealistic meaning when I'm talking about what should be the best way we should live, it might not be perfect but that's my view, that's my goal. I want it to be that way. It's not necessarily like it's going to be that way. So you have to be realistic sometimes. So I would say generally, uh, if you're watching this, take the advice seriously. <laughs> and uh, this is from my own my own experience that I've spent here for over five years. And I can tell you, if you are ready to do the job, if you are ready to do the job, you can come here. If you are ready, you will be able to succeed. That's my advice for you. See you guys.